come. Another Saturday morning on the road again. See it's starting to get light out in the east. I've been on the road for a little over three hours. I got three and a half to go. Pick up something else again. So I'll see you a little later after it gets light out. Oh, well, now it's fully light out. The sun isn't up yet, but it'll be coming up soon. Now I'm heading due south on 57 near Champaign, Illinois. And we'll see you a little later again. The sun is starting to peek over the horizon. Now you see this beautiful Illinois farmland, flat as a pancake. A friend of mine once said to me, he said, you can't buy this land either have to inherit it or marry it and that's probably especially true nowadays well this is what I came 450 plus miles for uh, I call it a corn cultivator but it'd be for any row crop and I'm gonna put on my grandpa's farm all H that's what this it's not exactly like the one my dad had when I was a kid but it's very similar and it's complete and you see, <laughs> I got to get it assembled some to get it in the truck. Here we have Farmall H with a three-cylinder Deutz in it. It's in the process. It needs a little more work yet, but old internationals never die. Sometimes you just got to repower them. As you can see here. I'm in the heart of Amish country by Montgomery, Indiana is where I got the cultivator. So I'll talk to you later. The road is long, closed and blocked off. But you don't see bridges like that anymore. I remember when they were commonplace. Here's another one coming up. Farmers don't like obstructions in the middle of their fields, but I wonder if ones like this are acceptable. So you see quite a lot of them around in the area where I'm driving through. Well, I'm going to keep on my way. Well, here I am north of Bloomington, Illinois. Uh, the sun is getting low over my left shoulder, and I have close to four hours to go yet before I get home. Uh, I'll probably catch you one more time when I make a gas stop. So I'll see you in a little while. Well, here's one more shot from my row crop cultivator. I know it as a corn cultivator, but it's really for any row crop. I bought from a young Amish man down by Montgomery, Indiana. Uh, he had bought a farm all H on an auction. The engine was stuck and his cultivator was on it. He got it home, took the cultivator off. And then he put the Deutz engine in it, as he saw previously. So he took the cultivator off so there are no pieces missing. Every nut and bolt and, and spring and everything I think is here for it, just as it would have been. So I think that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, I have about an hour to get home. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a video. And thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.